Well, we're gonna start by taking these off. That's a good thread locker, that's why. All right. Ooh, that's hot. So the bolts we gotta get to are right here. Uh, and there's like no space, I tried an extension. Uh, so we're gonna take off this piece. And these off. Whoa, that's gonna be loud. So we took off those four bolts to take this plate off, uh, or skid cover, whatever you want to call it. And now we can get to these little bolts. So this is why we're changing it. Um, this, this Jeep has a four inch lift. Uh, so it puts extra pressure on this front drive shaft uh you can tell right here this boot if i can get this closer right oh, let me take that away. the boot is ripped and you see all the oil that's up top so because it's at such an angle that's what's happening with the new one we'll have the double carton uh and that'll give us more clearance and it'll relieve that strain Okay, go. So I think if you have more clearance and you could try to get over from this side, I've, I've seen videos where guys are putting a long extension through that, but this angle is too steep. So I'm, uh, I'm using this open face wrench uh, and that seems to be working. Still gotta take a little bit of time, but. We're gonna try and knock this one loose. There it goes. And then the back should come out. Oh, hold that one my head. I got 911 Alright. So this is the transmission side, and that's gonna be a one and one quarter socket that's going to take this off um we put some extensions to kind of reach all the way out this way uh and with an impact gun got this out uh we did have to engage the four high so this wouldn't spin or else you know it's just gonna spin freely um and then you got to take off the one up front let me show you that one so take that one off there so now this should knock loose. So this is the two side by side. This is the old one. This is actually where it started failing. Uh, this is the boot that I was saying. This used to be just a rubber kind of cover. And because it was at such an angle, um, it tore and then all the grease came out. But the problem, the noise that it's making is out of this. So instead of replacing that, we're going with this solid piece and this is one solid spline and it, you know it gives you that ability up here we'll gain the double carton uh, to get us more clearance Butter. So we got to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And three, two, one. Butter. So we got to do the same thing on the other side. Three, two, one. All right. So here we have both. Looks like the bigger one is for the transfer case. 
and then this smaller one is for the differential. So this is gonna be our front one. We just need to clean it, make sure. Looks like from just hanging out here, I got a little bit of debris. There we are. We're gonna put a little bit of silicone. glove and kind of just work it into the spine our way up here and this just snap slide right in there we go And this should go right over that. So we're gonna get our torque wrench, torque this down. Okay. So we're gonna take this one and one eight socket, and we're gonna torque these down to 150 foot pounds of torque. So now we're gonna do the same thing back here. Put it in there. Use the socket. Probably get it. Did you leave it on for high? Oh, yeah. So we're trying to get this one to 150 foot pounds of torque. Okay, so we're bringing these bolts out for the back and just get the shaft in place. up and then the u-joints the u-bolts that they included will go there along with one of these and that bolt all right let me do the same thing on the other side So the last time we went off-roading, we started to hear that click from the front, and it was that front drive shaft. So we just took it out for a test. The noise went away, so mission accomplished. <laughs> 